the TCP. And uh, today our event is uh, contributing a sustainable future with JCM. Uh, JCM is not Japan, it's a joint crediting mechanism, JCM. So we have uh, three speakers here and to talk about the JCM, how can we work together? Uh, we have three speakers. One is uh, the first speaker is Muram, and he is a policy researcher of the IGES, is an institute of the global environmental strategies. And the second is uh, from Indonesia, Diki Edwin uh, Hindato, advisor of Indonesia JCM. And uh, the third speaker will be Han Dam, is a co-founder and managing director of the VNEEC. I think uh, she's from Vietnam. Yeah, yeah. And uh, welcome you. And uh, we are uh, three speakers, maybe uh, they will have a presentation later on. And I know the Muran, you have another side event later on. So uh, the Muran, please, uh, the floor is yours. Thank you. Wait a minute. Okay, wonderful, please. Thank you. Thank you very much for, uh, for your invitation. And uh, on the behalf of Ministry of Environment Japan, uh, I will present GCM operationalizing under Article 6 and also to support um, sustainable development. Okay. So here today outline, I will be briefly speaking joint credit mechanism introduction and the governance of the GCM environmental integrity, how the mechanism is securing environmental integrity, application of corresponding adjustment and ensuring transparency and GCM sustainable development guideline. And as you know, GCM is operationalizing under uh, Article 6.2 of the Paris Agreement. This is a bilateral mechanism as uh, in, in previous uh, speaker introduced, this is uh, between Japan and other partner countries. So the GCM is to um, diffuse, uh, diffuse leading low carbon technologies and also, sorry, uh, also um, system product services, as well as implementation of mitigation action and to contribute to sustainable development uh, of developing countries. And the current uh, status, as you know, uh, we have 28 partner countries signed the bilateral agreement already, and there are around 235 uh, projects in different sectors. And by 2030, the expected GHG emission reduction is 20 million tons of CO2. And introduced technologies, as you can see, it is uh, renewable energy mostly, and as well as energy efficiency. Um, air conditioning system and also transmission system and also um, any other gas coal generation uh, uh, systems. The governance of the GCM is, uh, as I mentioned, it is uh, both uh, uh, both sides uh, from Japan and also partner countries uh, to promote the investment on deployment of low carbon technologies. So they implement this GCM in accordance with the relevant domestic laws and the regulations. So both uh, sides are responsible for implementing and uh, developing GCM projects. So here you can see um, both sides has to establish the joint credit uh, joint committee to operate the GCM mechanism. And here you can see the government of Japan and also there's the, the partner countries, which is this case we have uh, Indonesia and also Vietnam. They both have the uh, joint committee in their country and also GCM secretariat is established to support the GC. And then GC, are, GC is the responsible to develop rules and guidelines methodologies and they are responsible to register GCM projects and designate third party entities to issue um, GCM credits. So uh, to secure environmental integrity, uh, one of the key uh, element of GCM is it, it has a conservative emission reduction calculation. 
Uh, here you can see here is the baseline emission under the CDM, but the GCM use more conservative uh, emission um, emission uh, emission reference. So uh, between this gap project emission reference emission, there will be uh, the emission reduction is uh, generated and that will be issued as a GCM credit. And that GCM credit is divided between the partner country and then Japan. And Japan has already committed that they are going to use, uh, we are going to use the GCM credit for the Japanese NDC. And application of the corresponding adjustment, as, as I mentioned, GCM is under Article 6.2, and then uh, that means uh, we will apply corresponding adjustment. And um, both sides authorize the GCM credit issued in the GCM registry of the Japan side and to use toward the NDC and international mitigation purposes. And for the domestic arrangement in the GCM, in, sorry, uh, in, in Japan, is that to authorize the GCM credits, um, we will do the corresponding adjustment method and uh, GCM promotion utilization council was established. And this council consists of uh, many ministries, Ministry of Environment, Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries, uh, Forestry Agency and Ministry of Land Infrastructure, uh, Transport, and tourism, and this council are the going the one to decide to uh, authorize the GCM credits. And the council had decided to use the the average method of uh, for the corresponding adjustment for the GCM until 2031. And to ensure transparency, um, both uh, Japan and the partner countries ensured this robust methodology to calculate. Uh, carbon dioxide emission and also um, transparency in the environmental integrity of the GCM uh, has been enhanced and then maintained the GCM uh, simple and practical so business sector can join uh, as, as much as possible. And then we also have the public participation. Uh, we have public input and sta local stakeholder consultation in the process of methodology as well as project registration. So it's very important as well as this local stakeholder meeting in the partner countries. And also in terms of the transparency, all of our information and the guideline methodology, project uh, registration issuance of the credit are available in on the GCM website. And to track GCM credits, uh, we have GCM registry system and each country are responsible to uh, track and register GCM project in the system. And in case of the Japan, we have, um, we have this GCM registry system is a digit on online platform. And, but for our partner countries, they have their own different registry system. And for, for today, um, I think this is the main, um, uh, the main topic is the how GCM is contributing to sustainable development. And uh, for the GCM, we have GCM sustainable development uh, guideline. And for that, we need, to, we want to avoid negative impacts uh, as well as GCM uh, project contribution to SDGs in the partner countries. And then as of now, we have only two countries uh, have this SD uh, guideline, Indonesia and Mongolia. So uh, project participants has to develop the sustainable development plan to prevent any negative impacts on environment as well as social impacts. And then they have uh, submit the report to the secretariat and then secretariat are the one are going to um, verify and validate the report. And then, that, then the project are going to be registered in the GCM registry. And for the negative impact, uh, we evaluate eight negative impacts, for example, policy alignment, environmental impact assessment, pollution control, safety and health, uh, natural environment, biodiversity, economy, social environment, and community participation and technology needs. And for the case of Mongolia, we also have looking at this positive impact on SDGs. And 
The project participants also need to identify potential contribution to SDGs through the project implementation as part of this uh, sustainable development report. And for the, um, from Japan's side, we are very welcome uh, for other countries, uh, other partner countries to develop the sustainable development guideline because it's a bilateral agreement. So it has to be a uh, discussion between the government so the private uh, companies can uh, develop uh, their project under the GCM. So with this, I would like to uh, close, uh, finish my presentation that the governance is uh, implemented by both participating countries and environmental integrity, we want to uh, ensure that net emission reductions secured. This is very important under Article 6.2 and also uh, avoidance of double counting. We will apply corresponding adjustment. In the case of Japan, it will be average method. And to ensure transparency, we have uh, local stakeholder meetings and then public inputs on methodology to register the project. Uh, as well as this tracking GCM, uh, uh, the credits, we have registry system already developed, and we are also have this uh, SD guideline that we are welcoming to other partner countries to develop the, the guidelines. So for this, I will uh, end my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention. Yeah, uh, thank you, Muran. Uh, before you uh, go to another side event, uh, uh, maybe five minutes, I can have uh, some question yes. for you. Because uh, we are from the TCP. TCP is organized by some of the leading ICT industry in Taiwan. For example, TSMC, uh, Delta, AUO, uh, they are different uh, sector. For example, the notebook is Asus and Acer. And uh, they are, because, for example, the Apple, the supply chain, they will push the supply chain to be net zero. So we got lots of the pressure about the net zero. Right now, they, they say, okay, we will be one, RE100, but RE100 is not easy to do that because uh, renewable energy, although we want to triple, but you know, it's not easy. Uh, how to get the, the real carbon credit is very important. But it's right now uh, in our local area, only the voluntary, and because they are international company, they can uh, get the global point of view. So each company, for example, Delta uh, and also TSMC, they are they are branch office in in uh, Tokyo. Oh no, 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 in China already in zero. But they will have an office in manufacturing in Japan and also in US. So I'm wondering, uh, what about the private sector, especially the leading international company? Can they join the JCM? can be can get their carbon credit and uh, is, is is it possible what kind of mechanism we we can do mm -hmm. thank you um for to enter especially for the private companies yeah. to enter the gcm and then develop the gcm project um they has to have a uh, international consortium between two country between two companies uh, okay. so one uh, is from japan japan is uh, Japanese private entity and another one is Taiwanese private entity to need to develop, need to sign um, international consortium. So then they will um, decide to uh, apply for the GCM and then develop the project in any other uh, partner, 28 uh, GCM partner countries. Okay. So that is there um, uh, open for private company to join uh, GCM. Uh, project development. Okay, for yeah. example, the TSMC, if they, because they were set up their uh, manufacturing in Japan later on, maybe several years later, and uh, they are also <laughs> lots of the emission about the carbon. So what they can do is probably uh, they uh, they work with the Japan local company if they are the member of. It's a membership of the JCM. No, uh, for private sector, there is no membership. No membership. <laughs> So the the application is usually online on the Ministry of Environment Japan website. So as soon as there is that, the announcement is that any private sector, they can apply and then they join, uh, create the, um, the create, uh, uh, international consortium and yes, then, yeah. um, they, uh, apply for the, for the JCM. Okay. That means, uh, the, we shall work with uh, some Japan. Yes. Private yes, company yes, together yes, yes. to do to apply this JCM. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That, so, that is the the rule. Uh, the guideline. The, rule, the guideline. Yes. Uh, so yeah. so probably 
Yes, and yeah, the please. guideline and everything that I've explained and now saying are in the, in the GCM website. So yeah, yeah. if you go to there, you can see what kind of what kind of companies are joining in the GCM. Okay. But for example, from Japan, we have many um, big trading industry and also big private companies are joining, and also from not from also Japan, but also other uh, uh, other. Uh, uh, partner countries, for example, Indonesia, we have many projects and Vietnam, we have many projects and then they have very supportive for GCM, um, GCM projects. Okay, so, so the private sector can join your ecosystem yes. to be a kind of partner. But, but the linkage is, is any uh, good example before because uh, JCM just I know is a cross system before. Is this have, have good, any kind of good example, for example, such as kind of leading company they can join? Um, I I, th I think it's uh, it's uh, available, and I think the government of Japan is also welcome for any private sector to join okay. GCM and apply and then okay. develop the project in different countries. So okay. um, from that, that's okay. uh, we are uh, we are welcome. Okay, it's a good news for our TCP. Probably we can be a group member to join the JCM to be your yeah such as kind to get. A, the carbon credit in the future. Yes, I, I think that is uh, possible. Everything is online. So, yeah. uh, but uh, as I said, there has to be the international consortium between the Japanese company and okay. uh, another. We, we don't need to from the government to government. Um, Private sector is okay. Sector is, is okay. okay. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah. Thank you very much for your for your question yeah yeah that, that, that's a good news for us yeah to, yeah. to, to from the private sector to join especially so, uh, inviting us for today's uh, yeah, yeah, meeting yeah. and um yeah. welcome we are welcome okay. if you have any question um yeah. let us know um okay. and here is my email address so yeah 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 thank, thank you very, very much. much and uh probably turn on the so we can take a photo and i send a gift to, to muran thank you, very much. thank you yeah hey let me change that okay send a photo Okay. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Muran. You have another meeting later on. So right now I will take the floor uh, to Vietnam and uh, uh, probably uh, later on we will have a, a panel discussion about these the, the issues. Hello, can we swing, change to... Okay. Uh, Dan Hong Han. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? I, yeah, thank you very much. I can hear you well. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. You guys and I, it will be um, uh, Indonesia and then uh, to Vietnam, but it's okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, please. Okay, okay the floor yeah. is yours. Yeah. Thank you very much. So, my pleasure to uh, introduce you about the latest uh, highlight about the JCM experience in Vietnam and then how we can learn to operationalize Article 6.2 in Vietnam. So, my name is Dang Hang. I'm the co founder and managing director of, Vina, uh, of the VNEX. Uh, this is the short name of Energy and Environmental Consultancy Joint Stock Company. Next slide, please. Yeah, next slide, please. Yeah, so we founded in uh, 2006, and then uh, to date we have more than 175 carbon credit projects in our pipeline with different uh, uh, international carbon credit mechanisms that we participate. And then we also supporting the uh, Japanese government and, and some uh, company in Vietnam in some JCM activities here in the hydropower sector and also energy efficiency. And to date, we have more than 8 million carbon credit issue, and then we also set up, uh, we also provide advisory to the government of Vietnam and uh, donor here to um, set up the carbon market in Vietnam and especially to operationalize Article 6 under the Paris Agreement. Next slide, please. Yeah, so just a key highlight that we uh, joined the you know, JCM since. Uh, 2013, and then to date we have more than you have the three MO, um, memorandum of cooperation has been signed between the two countries, and then the latest one in 2021. So in that, uh, there the more activity uh, agree, and uh, especially on the methodologies. So the Vietnam Japan Joint Committee um, has been established. That is composed the 
a representative from the government of both country. Yeah, yeah. Next, next slide, please. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Uh, so the, the joint committee is responsible for overseeing the JCM implementation. So to date, the joint committee has approved 15 methodologies for the country. Uh, and uh, we have 14 project registered with uh, about like 4,500 carbon credit issue from eight projects. So the number is much, much, as you see, smaller than the uh, volume of C, uh, carbon credit issue from the CDM, right? And then uh, recently that the more far projects is under valu uh, validation is it's expected that the uh, emission reduction with the FAR project will increase the, the total uh, carbon credit to more than 70,000 uh, tons CO2. Yeah, next slide, please. So this is a legal framework for the development of JCM projects in Vietnam. So we have the joint committee with the representative from the two government there in charge of the approval for the methodology, project registration, and credit issues, and also design nations. So in Vietnam, it's uh, under the Department of Climate Change and the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment. Uh, and then we also have the participation of the third party in the validation and verification, and then also project participant at the uh, yeah, Muron uh, C uh, if the side this uh, be the project participant from both countries. Yeah. Next slide, please. So this is a total of uh, JCM uh, registration project uh, by child and over time in Vietnam we see the number is uh, re relatively small. So from 2015 until 2019, so we have 14 project registered uh, with the uh, energy efficiency account for most of the project, and we have on solar and on transport. Yeah, next slide, please. So this is about eight projects that has uh, the credit issue by the you know, joint uh, committee. So you see that uh, uh, according to the uh, uh, data published, so uh, for each project, it has been agreed between the project participants on the share of the JCM credits. So the number is quite different from project to project. So some project is more than almost 80% is to go to Japan side and only 20% stay in Vietnam. And some like is close to 50, 50. So the um, principle that is a minimum share it would be 50, 50. And then uh, the actual number will depend on the negotiation between the project participants, but then the share to J10, it shouldn't be less than 50%. Yeah. Next, please. So I just would like to draw some lesson learned from the, the implementation of the JCM in Vietnam and how we can apply for Article 6 at the moment. So definitely, as you see that, uh, observe that the participation in the JCM uh, has uh, increased uh, or strengthened the diplomatic relationship between Vietnam and Japan. And uh, the partnership uh, also increased investment uh, in Vietnam from Japanese investors and also foster the trade relationship between the two countries. And by participating in the JCM, Vietnam also created a favorable environment for business to participate in uh, activity in, at reducing GHG emissions in the countries. And by participating in JCM also opened up the new investment channel for enterprises in Vietnam to contribute to GHG emissions. But then they also, on the other hand, they also can benefit from exchange of knowledge and access to advanced Japanese uh, local bond technology um, products and uh, services because you see that from the JCM, this is a condition that it has to be the advanced technologies uh, from Japan. Especially at the um, implement uh, thing agency, the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment has gained valuable experience in building and managing the registration system for JCM 
project because uh, before Vietnam all um, had only experience in participating in international uh, uh, carbon credit uh, mechanism. So on the registration system has been done abroad, but by participating in the ZCM, they had experience in, in managing their own registry system. So this is very valuable for the country because uh, for the, under the Article 6.2 and also the domestic carbon market, this is the, they will have to establish and um, operate their own uh, registry systems. And then the progress made in understanding and developing the legal and operational aspect of the bilateral me uh, crediting mechanism, they say we can transfer under uh, Article 6.2 uh, in Vietnam. And at the moment, we are also providing the advisory to the government to um, set up the legal and institutional system to operationalize Article 6.2. So definitely the lesson learned from uh, implementation of the JCM and also like negotiation with Japanese government and among the parties participate in the JCM will be very helpful. And uh, we also have a look on that at the one of the uh, important lesson learned uh, and, and uh, to give the advice to the government. Next slide, please. Uh, but on the other hand, we also see from my presentation that the JCM seems underperforming with a very small neck, um, amount of the credit uh, um, has been issued. And also for the estimated credit can be generated, it's also very small compared to a, let's say, small size, uh, a small scale CDM projects. So, and especially that there are the no transfer or trading of this credit yet. So this had to be, um, of, um, this had to be addressed before the effective utilization of the credit under Article 6.2. Uh, so to meet the NDC target of uh, um, and also doing the corresponding attachment in Vietnam. And then the necessary mechanism for authorization, tracking, accounting, and corresponding adjustment has not yet established. And from a management and policy perspective, that there are the need uh, for specific regulation related to the reporting requirement for project participants under the existing regulation, because of, uh, the existing uh, regulation, uh, namely the decree 06 uh, issued by the government also has specific um, reporting requirement for the project participant in um, carbon market, but is not yet specified. So it's under the development at the moment. Um, uh, and then we see that this uh, had to, uh, the, to implement the JCM has to have the participation of the third party, and but we don't have any um, accredited local third party in Vietnam at the moment. So the capacity for the third party validation and verification uh, should be in, uh, strengthened and developed. And one last point we see that there are the likes of comprehensive information and awareness regarding JCM among Vietnamese uh, agency and uh, enterprises maybe from Japanese in the side that the, um, the 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 enterprises and investor they are more aware of that but Vietnamese got the part they are kind of uh, not in the active role so they just wait until they are contacted by the Japanese um, counterparts to facilitate the, the, the JCM project so this is the thing that we can also learn and also try to um, handle at the, the early stage for so Article 6 that more um, information in awareness should provide also not only to the Japanese side or to the investor side, but also from not from the buyer country, but from the sell, um, seller country like Vietnam. So we can be more active and proactive in that process to identify the project and develop the project uh, activities. Yeah, so I think. Um, yeah, so the final slide, please. So this is the, yeah, the next slide, please. Yeah, so this is all that I would like to give you the, the very short summary and update about the JCM in Vietnam and what we can learn for 
um, Article 6 uh, in general and Article 6.2 specifically in Vietnam. So I'm happy to join the panel and answer the further question and discussion. Thank you very much. Thank you okay, for inviting me. Yeah, thank you, Hendon. And uh, uh, I have a, a short question for you because uh, I, I know just uh, Japan and Vienna, you work together uh, about the J under the JCM. And uh, what about the carbon credit you can get for one project? It's 50 to 50, 50 to Japan government or Japan itself, and 50 to Vienna. What yeah. about a share? Yeah, in principle, the other one slide I presented, this is uh, in, in general, in the, the um, uh, can you go to the, I think the, the first, the, the slide number four, the page four. So I think, yeah, in general, that is a minimum say that the Japanese, they, they had to receive is a 50. But then, uh, the, as I saw in the presentation, yeah, uh, no, the, the previous, I think. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, then the next slide, please. Yeah, this one. So you can see okay. this is this numbers reflect the actual agreement between the two parties for specific projects. Okay. Five projects that had the credit issues. So it uh, the the share is, uh, is uh, different from fifty and fifty, right? You see only the project number four. They are close to fifty and fifty, but the other they are usually higher. The share for Japanese um, panel is higher than than fifty. Yeah, so this is based on the agreement between the two parties participate in the project, but has, but it has to be based on the fifty and fifty percent at the starting point. Okay, uh, uh, I'm wondering in, in Vietnam, uh, such is kind of you share is uh, government owned, or you can you will share with the uh, enterprise. Um, at the moment, the 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 shares agrees by the the among the enterprises that the government has yeah. not participated yet, but I guess that under the um, uh, Article 6.2, then the, gov yeah. the role of government will be clearer, because at the moment that the, also the negotiation, uh, the discussion with the government for the say the um, ITMOs in Vietnam for the ITMO that uh, yeah, will be transferred and then they are still like discussing for the uh, eligible project activity and also for the share that is a possible uh, okay. also contribute okay. to the NDC of the countries. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, I'm wondering in Vietnam, do you have any kind of the carbon market? For example, carbon trading is a uh, voluntary or other other system to do already? Not yet. At the moment, we according to our the latest um, roadmap that the pilot activity will be from uh, uh, will be started in uh, 2000. 25. So the, the government now planning to do the ETA the, for the domestic carbon market. For the domestic carbon market in Vietnam, it will be in, uh, cover the ETS and also the domestic carbon credit. Yeah. So okay. it will be okay. kicked up in 2025. No domestic. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Interesting because uh, uh, you have a, right now you have a nine project already, right? My project. It's a big project, right? Not everyone is big, big project. Yeah, at the moment, there are the eight project has uh, C, uh, has a credit issue under the JCM. Okay. They had, yeah. uh, I think, fourteen register. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you, Hendon. Uh, right now, uh, I would like to ask uh, Dicky Edwin. Uh, do you want to share something, or we go to the panel discussion directly? Uh, Dicky Edwin. Hello, Ticket. Yeah, thank you very you much. Uh, yeah, I, I you can want to hear share you. or we go to the panel discussion directly. Uh, yeah, I have sent I have sent my presentation to your colleague. Uh, can you share it okay. for us? Yeah, please. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. Please. Yeah, thank you very much. And apology because uh, I'm still uh, on the road. <laughs> So, oh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's go it's ahead. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, please next slide. Yeah. So this is the famous Indonesia NDC. So we have uh, in here, as you see, we have uh, 
quite high target uh, for 2030. And this is the newest target for us in here. Uh, you can see in here that uh, our target is 31% uh, of the pro projection uh, on the base year of 2010 to 2030. And then uh, here you also can see that the CM1 and CM2 in here, the CM2 is for 3.20%. Uh, uh, it means that Indonesia need to utilize uh, its uh, international support. And in here, we have uh, developed our bilateral cooperation with uh, Japan from 2013. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Yeah, next slide, please. Yeah, uh, in Indonesia, uh, what we have done, uh, we are trying to uh, finance our uh, our mitigations uh, by using market and market. And in here, you can see that the uh, carbon pricing is one of uh, our uh, mitigation finance system in Indonesia. And not only the carbon pricing, we also use uh, direct investment by uh, foreign direct investment and then uh, the private investment and of course the government budget. So uh, we try to uh, develop all of this uh, finance system uh, to reach our target. Next slide, please. And this is our domestic policy and international initiative. If you have any chance to go to our pavilion, Currently, uh, there are a lot of discussion that had, uh, had been done by my colleagues uh, in Indonesia Pavilion, and they have uh, talked and discussed about a lot of initiatives that are currently uh, developed in domestic Indonesia, like uh, the ASEC. Uh, this is the Asia Zero Emission Community uh, that developed by Indonesia and Japan. We also have a JETP, uh, the, the Just uh, Energy Transition Partnership. We have developed uh, some Corsia projects, and we have uh, at the Indonesia, the Indonesia uh, private sector also uh, developed the CDP. And then there are sets of regulation that currently are being implemented in Indonesia for the carbon pricing. So for the carbon pricing, we have uh, the presidential decree about the carbon pricing, we have also some uh, some ministerial decrees uh, for the carbon pricing, as well as we have currently uh, established our new uh, carbon exchange. The new carbon exchange in Indonesia uh, are uh, intended to uh, to use uh, for the for the carbon credits and also allowances. Uh, uh, allowances uh, trading in Indonesia and we believe that uh, in next year the GCM carbon credits also can enter the market in Indonesia. So currently the GCM credits are still non-tradable but uh, we have a discussion with the government of Japan. Uh, the Indonesia and Japan will try to trade the carbon credits in Indonesia Carbon Exchange and Japan Carbon Exchange. Next, please. Uh, yeah, this is uh, some initiative of uh, the carbon pricing in Indonesia. Uh, we have the CDM, we have also uh, developed the emission trading scheme or cap and trade. Uh, also, we have uh, some, international, some international initiative uh, for the carbon credits development and renewable energy certification, as well as uh, Indonesia, we have developed uh, our own uh, domestic uh, carbon market system called the uh, Indonesia Certified Emission Reduction. And this is uh, currently are very active uh, for developing some projects. Next, please. Yeah, this is uh, already uh, presented by my colleague, uh, and uh, just skip it, please. Next, please. 
and this is the project cycle. So in here, uh, if we talk about the GCM project cycles, it is similar to other uh, crediting scheme, but in here, uh, during the validation and certification, Indonesia put what we call the Indonesia uh, standard of sustainable development. So Indonesia is the first country in the world uh, who put uh, the sustainable development standards uh, for our own uh, carbon training system. So we believe uh, by putting the standards for the sustainable development and implement it, and also we uh, we uh, verified uh, this this uh, implementation. Uh, so we believe that uh, we can achieve. Uh, not only the emission reduction, but also the the, the uh, sustainable development. Next, please. Yeah, this is current condition of Indonesia GCM. So we have currently uh, 56 uh, that already implement uh, implemented projects, and we agree to add two more. So. so Currently, we have total uh, 58 projects. Uh, we just received uh, last week uh, another two uh, newest projects for the GCM. And then uh, here you can see that uh, the type of our projects are uh, very unique uh, from the uh, your renewable energy to energy efficiency. Uh, to the infrastructure as well as uh, the the energy transition. So here uh, you can see that uh, from our total projects, it is uh, not only reducing uh, the emission, but also give us confidence that uh, the implementation of the sustainable development are already happened. Next, please. So this is what I have been said. Uh, we try to ensure that environmental integrity are already implemented. So we have what we call the STIP and SDAR. So the STIP is the Sustainable Development Implementation Plan. So every project before uh, we can uh, implement the project. So every project must uh, send to the government uh, their plan uh, to implement the project and then, then uh, their plan to fulfill uh, the sustainable development criteria. So after the project then send the SDIP, then the government uh, after the SDI adoption, third party entity, the TPE, and then after the validation, uh, the project then implement the project. After the implementation of the project, so the project must send to us what we call the SDIR, Sustainable Development Implementation uh, Review. So in the SDIR, uh, the project then must uh, uh, must report to us uh, the achievement of the sustainable development fulfillment. So in during the uh, SD, SDIP and the SDIR, uh, the government of Indonesia, uh, by its uh, GCM secretariat, uh, affiliate uh, the affiliate all of the uh, implementation of the projects, and then uh, if uh, there are some projects that are not fulfill uh, the sustainable development, so the government will suspend the project or will hold the project until they can uh, fulfill uh, the sustainable development criteria that we have uh, we have uh, stated to them. So here you can see, uh, at least we have the environmental impact assessment, uh, pollution control, safety and health, natural environment and biodiversity, economy, social environment and uh, community participation, and then the technology. So at least uh, they must fulfill 
seven criteria of the sustainable development. Next, please. So this is uh, one example of our project. Uh, this is the the uh, origination uh, for the waste recovery in the cement factory. Uh, so in the cement factory, uh, the project must fulfill the SDGs. Next, please. And this is the energy efficient waste uh, being system. This is also the uh, energy efficient project. In this project, uh, the newest technology of the uh, waste paper processing system are implemented, and then uh, they must send to us uh, their plan to fulfill uh, the SDGs goal. Next, please. This is also the very high tech technology in our biggest oil refinery. So you can see in here, uh, not only uh, the small company, but we also have uh, GCM a big uh, oil company in Indonesia. This is a uh, end refinery, and uh, the refinery also must send to us uh, their SDIP and HDAR. Next, please. Still in the refinery, uh, this is the project uh, to control the emission uh, from uh, the boilers and then uh, the, uh, the investments are quite big in here, uh, but we are very proud uh, for this project, that the project not only uh, reducing the emission, but they also give us confidence that the implementation of SDGs are already implemented well. Next, please. And this is uh, the renewable energy projects, but by using the PLC, Pro Programmable Logic Controller. So you can see in here, every project that we have developed, we have uh, the newest technology. So the te technology itself uh, can come from uh, Japan, from China, from German, from Indonesia, and from any other country. So it is very open if uh, the Taiwan company then want to uh, join and invest in the GCM projects. Uh, but of course, uh, must have at least uh, two entities, uh, the Indonesia and Indonesia and GCM uh, companies. Uh, but if uh, the third company will be uh, the Taiwan companies, it is also very open. Or at least Taiwan then can uh, get introduced uh, their newest technology uh, in the GCM in Indonesia. Next, please. And this is our uh, solar power system, Indonesia, uh, that developed by Sharp uh, and our local company. Uh, you can see in here, not only Japanese technology, but we also use uh, the mixed technology from Japan and uh, from our site. Next, please. And this is uh, what we call the technology for the transportation that has been developed. And uh, we have, uh, currently we have more than 300 bus uh, that have been uh, refurbished uh, for uh, for the uh, emission reduction purposes. So in here, uh, the bus was modified uh, from the oil consumption bus uh, to the gas bus. Next, please. And this is the co-generation plan that we have developed uh, in our automobile manufacturing plan. So currently we have uh, some co-generation uh, technology that are implemented in uh, some Indonesia factories. And again, that uh, is not only Japanese technology uh, that have been developed, 
but also other technology that come from other uh, countries, as well as uh, the Indonesia domestic technology. Next. Yeah, uh, this will be our, uh, sorry, this will be my uh, last slide. So in here, uh, from the implementation of the GCM, uh, currently we have implemented GCM uh, from 2013 until 2023. So it, uh, it is uh, more than 10 years we have developed this. So the challenges are, uh, for us in here and that the opportunities are the opportunities are uh, we have abundant uh, renewable resources uh, from the geothermal, solar, wind, ocean, and uh, some other res uh, renewable energy resources. We also have uh, CCS and CCUS uh, location that can be developed in Indonesia. Currently, we are trying to develop the CCS and CCUS uh, projects uh, under the GCM. And then we also have uh, forests. Uh, and then land use change uh, that are uh, in the near future, you believe it's also going to be uh, developed under the GCM. And of course, we have, uh, like I have uh, uh, talked to you before, uh, we have our carbon exchange that already inaugurated uh, in September this year. But we also have uh, some challenges in here. First is the lack of understanding on mitigation outcomes that currently are still uh, being uh, uh, spreading uh, among uh, not only uh, the industries, but also uh, among the, our ministries. And uh, the linking of the carbon pricing, uh, GCM with adaptation are still uh, very difficult to be implemented. And then aligning uh, with the Minister of Environment and Forestry Regulation on carbon pricing uh, also uh, currently uh, are uh, not uh, easy to be implemented. And that the electricity uh, over capacity in Indonesia. Uh, so uh, in some part of Indonesia, uh, we have uh, the over electricity more than 50% of our capacity of the electricity, and then the coordination uh, among the ministries are not uh, are not <laughs> good all the time. Sometimes are very difficult, and of course uh, the last uh, challenges are the uncertainty of rules and regulation in Indonesia. So this is uh, will be uh, the presentation that we can discuss uh, in this uh, session. Thank you very much. Oh, thank, thank you, Tiki. Uh, you have a very detailed description about the JCN, uh, what you did in Indonesia. So uh, I have a short question to you. And uh, uh, yes. you mentioned about the potential we from the industry, we can work with Indonesia under the JCN. So you, uh, is any good example already in, uh, for example, Taiwan? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, some, yeah, yeah. Uh, Already? Yes, uh, this is not already for Taiwan, but we okay, use uh, okay. third, third country technology uh, okay. in GCM. For example, like the, we have the Void. Uh, Void is the Swedia technology for okay. uh, the uh, for the water, uh, sorry, hydro power generation. Okay. Uh, we also have uh, China technology uh, for uh, the uh, waste paper. Uh, implementation that uh, I have presented, and then we also have uh, Indonesia technology. Uh, some of Indonesia technology are being implemented. So uh, for the technology, the GCM are very open. Okay. So we can uh, you can contact me or invite me to uh, Taiwan <laughs> to present this. Okay. So okay. Wonderful. It is it is very very open uh, very open for the the, the technology. Uh, but the thing is, uh, every project must have at least Indonesia participant and Japan participant. Yeah, uh, so, but if we uh, have something to do in Indonesia, uh, if we want to, for example, the company, their headquarters is Taiwan and they have a branch only the, for, for example, the, the company, their branch office in Indonesia, they can join and they can offset 
the emission, right? And uh, so if we want to work together, we still have some agreement between uh, Indonesia and the Chinese yeah, yeah, government. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not easy to do, right? Agreement. Yeah. It is not easy, but uh, it will be very technical. But I think uh, with a good, uh, with good intention from every party, I think okay. uh, it can be done. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, another direct question is about the cost and benefits. So some people will say, "Oh, if we are, if we invest this, how much the carbon credit I can get? How much is it? One ton." maybe uh 100 us dollars or very cheap how how's the cost and benefit is any uh uh experience or any good example now okay yeah yeah currently uh, currently uh, all of the gcm projects are still uh, non tradable credits but uh, i believe uh, in the near future uh, we can go to the market uh, to our carbon exchange but according okay. to the uh M I M I C C. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean in that uh, the the marginal abdomen cost in uh, our projects. Uh, so uh, the implementation of the G C M itself is not uh, is not cheap. So uh, we are trying to sell the carbon credit at least uh, more than fifty dollars per ton. Okay. Because just I know the Indonesia, you have lots of the natural resources and uh, lots of the uh, uh, carbon uh, resellers, <laughs> carbon credit resellers. They claim they have the resources of the from the Indonesia. So I just I know your government already uh, want to yeah, clean yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. something uh, yeah, but, about about yeah. that, right? Yeah. Yeah, but but you never you never contacted me yet so uh, we need to have a long discussion in this yeah and then we yeah, need to yeah. have uh, then uh, some very technical discussion on how then uh, the taiwan government and taiwan companies uh, can contribute uh, in the gcm implementation okay okay wonderful so so i think the vietnam and the indonesia probably the potential we can work with them, and also the jcm project so probably next time and we can invite you to join us and uh, such is kind of issue we should uh discuss uh because we are not government official we are we are from the private sector we want to find any kind of solution we can do and under the uh article six and uh i think such as kind of cooperation is what we need in the future and however the yeah, yeah. funding the cost benefit is a key issue so probably we can yes. uh, set up a group and to discuss about this in the future yeah yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you very much for this. And if you let me, uh, may okay. I? Uh, because uh, again, that I am still uh, on the road. So uh, if you let okay, me, okay. Uh, yeah, can yeah, I, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, close the the, the uh, my presentation. Or, okay. And then, uh, I, I left. Uh, I left uh, the the discussion. Uh, but, okay. Uh, if yeah. you still have. Uh, if you still have uh, some questions, you can directly email me, or okay. of course uh, we ha we can discuss it uh, okay. among uh, Webex or Zoom or something. Okay, okay, wonderful. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you all of you. Maybe see you some next COP or maybe next uh, press in uh, Indonesia. Yeah, you are very welcome. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are very welcome if uh, you want to come to uh, Jakarta. Okay, okay, wonderful. And also thank you the hand then and uh, uh, actually uh, such is kind of the from the TCP private sector what we can do in the future uh, also work with Vietnam because lots of the Taiwanese they have the manufacturing in Vietnam so probably uh, I, I, I probably I will calculate maybe summarize that this make a, a summary for how many company are already in Vietnam probably we can join the uh, Vietnam Japan JCM in the future yeah probably yeah okay uh My let's pleasure. finish today's yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 okay let's finish the today's uh, panel discussion and uh hope uh i think just uh start and uh, let us uh, from the private sector know we can how we can join jcm in the future thank you all yeah. and i uh, hope to see you somewhere and uh, we can keep uh doing and discussion okay thank you bye bye yeah. okay thank, thank you bye thank you bye thank you bye 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 bye